Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to show you my top four favorite um, MAC eyeshadows that I think can go with any look. And what's perfect about these eyeshadows is that um, I know that a lot of people like bright, bold eyeshadow colors, but they technically like, or they don't even know how to use it. They're like, how do I use a yellow eyeshadow? How do I use a blue eyeshadow? So using the technique that I use with these four eyeshadows that I'm going to show you you can basically use any pop color on your lid and then use the rest of the MAC eyeshadows um, to finish the rest of your look so yeah it doesn't matter if your lid color is gonna be purple or blue or pink or yellow or orange whatever the case may be you can choose any pop color that you want on your lid and if you use the four eyeshadows for MAC that I'm gonna show you you can definitely complete the look so if you guys want to find out how to get this look and also what I think are the four most complimentary MAC eyeshadows there are, then keep on watching. Thanks! So I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes using the e.l.f. eyelid primer. I'm just going to dab some onto the lid of my eye, the lid of my eye, my eyelid, and then tap it in with my ring finger. Did you guys notice my new nails? Woo woo! I love using this primer because, well, for number one, it's only a dollar, but it does the job. It's a neutral shade, and it keeps me matte, and I have oily skin, and it doesn't make my colors run throughout the day. And I know usually everyone uses Milk the NYX Jumbo Pencil as their base, but the color that I'm going to use today has a slight shimmer to it, so I'm going to be using NYX's Glam Shadow Stick in the color diamond. So it looks like that. And so this is how it looks like. So you can kind of tell it has like a shimmer to it. So I'm just going to apply this directly to my lid. Just drawing it on. If you're not using a shimmery color for your lid, um, I actually do suggest using Milk by NYX. It is like amazeballs as a base color. And then I'm just going to blend it out using this fluffy paddle brush from e.l.f. So you can kind of just pat it and kind of blend it outwards. So for today's look, I'm going to choose a color from the BH Cosmetics Party Girl palette. And it looks like this. It has such a huge range of different colors that you can use bold, metallic, pastel, uh, matte, shimmer, so definitely a wide variety that you can choose from. But today I'm going to use this really light aqua color right here. And to apply it, I'm going to use this really super amazing new brush from Morph. It's the C154 Crescent Fluff. So where is it? There you go. And it looks like that. And what it does is conforms to the shape of your eyelid so that the pigment is just you know more easily applied and that way you have like a more concentrated shade on your lid and then start in the center of my lid and just pack it on and then go side to side especially if you have small lids um, like I do um, this brush is super useful because it really gets into every nook and cranny going to apply our highlight color which is right below the brow bone and I'm going to use the number 10 brush from Benefit which is just an angled fluffy brush and shroom. So I'm just going to dab some on my brush like that and I like using an angled brush because you can basically line underneath your brow bone um, really precisely and it just gives a more defined look. And then after you outline where you want your highlight to be, since it's a fluffy brush, you can just buff it out. So now we're going to apply our transitional color, which is going to be uh, MAC Soft Brown. And I'm going to use the IB127 Blending Fruff from Morph Brushes. And it looks like that. 
And for a transitional color, you always want to apply it from your crease towards the brow bone, like right where you stopped with the highlight. I always start from the outer corner and then work my way in and then just go back and forth going higher and higher. And then I do like to bring my color outwards toward the point of my eyebrow just so that way it doesn't look like there's like weird empty space on my eye where there's no shadow. apply our main crease color so which is basically going to bridge the colors between your lid and the transitional color and for this I'm going to use Sonia Kashuk's uh, crease brush again I like to start in the outer corner and then work my way in going back and forth brown script which is the color I'm using right now um, it looks like a very intense red um, for years, I just avoided it, and I was like, ew, I'm not going to use that. It's red. Who wears a red eyeshadow? But the way it blends out is so amazing, so I highly, highly recommend this color. And then taking the Morph Badger Blending Brush, which looks like this, I'm just going to blend the crease color into the into the transitional color. I'm just going to start in the inner corner of my eye and then go in a circular motion and start blending. And to darken up the base of the crease, I'm going to go ahead and use the same crease brush and now apply handwritten. So just dab a little bit on. And then I always apply it just from the outer corner about halfway in. And then go ahead and blend it out. Voila! So now we're all done with applying our top colors, now we're going to do the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and use Stubborn Brown, which is just an eye pencil from MAC in a very rich dark brown color. And I'm just going to run this along the bottom of my lash line. And I like to stop like about a quarter of the way until the end, like right here, because I'm just going to smudge it out. So I'm just going to smudge it out using a fluffy paddle brush from H&M. And then softly move the color towards the inner tear duct, like how you see here. And to help set the eyeliner, I'm just going to mix soft brown with shroom and dab it a little bit in both with the same fluffy brush and then just set the eyeliner. So now I'm going to fill in my waterline on the top and bottom of my eye using what I always use, which is the BH Cosmetics Waterproof Eyeliner in Onyx. If you don't do this already, a great tip on how to apply liner to your waterline um, fairly easily is to just tilt your head back and apply it that way. And now I'm going to line the upper lid using a angled eyeliner brush like that and the e.l.f. cream eyeliner in black, which looks black. And now I'm going to curl my eyelashes using all of this.
If you want to brighten up the look, you can actually take the fluffy paddle brush, you take shroom, and then apply it to your inner tear duct. So you can go ahead and stop here, but I like to add false eyelashes. And voila, you are done. So I hope you guys liked this video and found it useful and helpful. Um, I definitely think these four eyeshadow colors from MAC are the most versatile and um, definitely they can complement any pop color. I've tried it with almost every single pop color I've had with yellows and reds and pinks and blues and whatever other color I haven't named. Um, so yeah, go ahead and give it a try and let me know down below if you, you know, if it worked for you or if you liked it. Thanks again guys for tuning into my channel and don't forget to thumbs up the video before you leave and subscribe for more. And stay tuned at the end because I'm pretty sure there's going to be bloopers because this video took me forever to film. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. Welcome back to the bloopers from Mac. Uh, I'm going to check out. Oh, and let's not forget to say hi to my little friend right here. Yeah, she a party crasher. Ah. Uh... Uh, so now we're going to, uh, um, and for this I'm just going to use Sanya, uh, Sanya, <sighs> Kashuk, ah, blah, 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 and oh, the upper half of my, oh my, the flat or fluffy, oh, blah, ah, I can't talk, <laughs> ah,